Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Dragopoulos, the host of the Am Fish Fishing Vlog Series. Uh, this is a really good video I wanted to shoot for uh, a while. Um, I'm kind of on a downtime right here on this lake today, so I'm taking advantage of the day uh, to shoot some videos. Uh, where do you find fish on really, really hot days? Fortunately, uh, today it was supposed to be relatively hot. It's been a little cooler, nice breeze. Um, but if today was that really, really hot day, you know, you know, um, 80, 90, 95, 100 degrees um, here in Canada, you know, we'd be looking at high 26s, 30s. Um, where do you find the fish? I've had success finding them in the shallow. Sometimes they'll come up and sun themselves. But if we've had, um, or if you've back home had those really hot days and a bunch of scorching days in a row, you may not find them in the shallows. So you're going to want to pull yourself back out where you'd find fish normally in one to three feet of water. You're probably going to want to double to triple that. Maybe try uh, eight to 13 feet of water. They tend to move out of these shallows uh, when it's significantly hot. Uh, again, they're going to be looking for uh, good oxygen. They'll follow the feed back out. Uh, good oxygen also means they've got to get to the, the nice thick green weeds uh, that pump out that, that fresh oxygen for them. Uh, it doesn't mean, again, you're not going to find them in the shallows or roaming the shallows. Um, but here in Canada, we've had a relatively hot summer. And I noticed myself over the years, what I've kept doing is come out into that 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 foot range and pop. You start popping those same fish um, where earlier in the season you'd find them roaming in the shallows. Again, now we're getting back out here. We're getting closer to late summer, early fall. So I'm still pulling back out. Uh, they're going to get into that little bit of deeper water now. Temperature, water temperature tends to cool off. Uh, air temperature tends to cool off, but they will kind of get a little more lethargic and pull back out. So when you're fishing on those extremely hot days, I mean, you know, we've all been there. We've all been out in the boat, looked around, and no one's catching, and looked this way in another boat, no rods are moving, nothing. Um, you're going to want to try those deeper uh deeper parts of the lake again sometimes it's only pulling out 40 to 50 yards away from where you normally fish and and using the same baits it doesn't mean you can't use the same baits uh, you may want to slow it down a little bit fish may not be as active on those extremely hot days um, but I wanted to shoot this video I've had people you know see me on the lake catching fish on a really hot day and trying to figure out why I was positioned further out and you know their mentality at the time was you gotta fish the shorelines. You know, I always hear you're supposed to catch fish on the shorelines. Well, sure, it's gonna happen. You know, one hot day out of five hot days, sure, you might find a whole bunch roaming around the shallows, sunning themselves, especially in the early morning. Um, but you will wanna keep an eye on uh, water temperature if you don't have uh, a boat, such as mine, a bass boat that's got uh, all the little gauges and the fancy stuff in it. Uh, you can probably just pick up a portable uh, water temperature gauge and you'll wanna keep an eye on that. Um, you know that one to three feet of water it could just be boiling and the fish are not going to be sitting in there they've got to get this cooler to cooler water uh, fresh oxygen they'll follow the bait fish as well so things will tend to move away from shore um, and again the rule of thumb that I follow and I'm passing on to everybody out there is maybe just you know double triple or quadruple your uh, your depth if you're in four feet try eight to twelve um, you know, if you're in three feet, try, um, you know, anywhere from uh, nine to 16 feet. Uh, you're just going to want to play around with that a little bit. But on those extremely hot days, I mean, we feel them. You know, I'm going through five or six bottles of water in a few hours out on the lake. Don't forget that it is really hot. We're feeling the heat. Uh, there's a lot of heat uh, in the water as well in, in that shallower area. So um, on those scorcher days, uh, give it a try. Just pull yourself back out of that shoreline um, and get into and try and find um, that range if you don't have a depth finder as well. Uh, again, the rule of thumb I used when I didn't have this boat and I was in a rental boat with not many gauges at all, um, I would just pull myself out. I kind of, you know, ballparked. I said, okay, well, I'm seeing the tips of weeds. They look about four feet down. So the bottom of the, uh, you know, the structure that I was fishing, there's got to be at least, you know, seven, eight feet. Uh, another tip is drop out a line and, and just measure your line. Just kind of do a gauge. Okay, three feet, four feet. Okay, I'm in nine feet of water. That's also a good little way to, um, to measure your depth. But on those scorching days, casting those shallows sometimes when it's been uh, consecutive scorching days, 
you're not going to have a lot of luck. You're going to want to pull yourself back out into those um, deeper areas of the lake um, and try those presentations that you would normally try in the shallow. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you found this uh, video helpful. See you next time.